Kino, Drakai of Aether, is our very first Arcane Rising hero. It's a very different hero from what we've seen before, as Kano is a wizard which deals damage to your opponent without starting a combat chain. You'll kind of see what I mean in, when I explain the cards. Though Kano, Drakai of Aethers, is a 4 intellect, 30 health hero. With the following effect, instant, 3 resource. Look at the top card of your deck. If it is a non-attack action card, you may banish it. If you do, you may play it this turn as though it were an instant. All the wizard cards are cards that don't state attack action. This is very beneficial for Kano as Kano can use his leader ability during his own turn and your opponent's turn as well, dealing damage during your own turn and your opponent's. The lower health does help a lot, where you could probably be playing cards like Scar for Scar, though these cards are probably just cards you could just chuck in there for some little extra chip damage, but I feel like the main ways to go is with all the arcane damage cards. And to start off with, we'll start off with one of the common cards. Aether Spindle is a 2 cost cycle card with the following effect. Deal 2-4 to four damage to target opposing hero. Opt X, where X is the damage dealt by Aether Spindle. Look at the top X cards of your deck, you may put them on top and or bottom in any order. This feels like it's going to be one of the main cards that you can use to set up your, the top of your deck without using too much resources. Or even better yet, you could use it during your opponent's turn so you can set up something really good for your own turn when you start your turn. Lesson in Lava is Kano's Super Specialization card. It's a 2 pitch, 1 cost, 3 defense wizard action with the following effect. Deal 3 arcane damage to target posing hero. If Lesson in Lava deals damage, you may search your deck for a wizard card with cost equal to or less than the damage dealt by Lesson in Lava. Reveal it, then shuffle your deck and put it on the top of your deck in any order. With all the super specialization cards, I feel like this is the most unique one. This is one of those cards where it sets up something. The Bravo one did very well with setting up, though it felt like a delayed reaction while this card you can use during your own turn and then set up something for your opponent's turn so you can play something off the top of your deck. The reason why I chose to announce the weapon this late into the video is because Kano's weapon of choice, Crucible of Aether Weave, is a weapon that doesn't deal any damage. Well, it does through effect damage. Once per turn, instant. The next card you play this turn with an effect that deals arcane damage instead deals that much arcane damage plus one. The current strategies right now mainly revolve around getting the most advantage out of your weapon, though Kano looks like he's gaining most advantage out of being able to play around your opponent's turn. You can use this effect during your own turn and during your opponent's turn as well, dealing extra damage, but you have to play it before you use your spell cards or your wizard action cards. From the point of recording this video, Kano's equipment cards, his legendary and his common card hasn't came out yet, though if I were to guess it would either be cards that give your wizard actions go again or ways to generate more action points. Just a guess. I'm not entirely sure how everyone's going to take on this hero as it feels very swingy. Kano's mythic specialization card is Blazing Aether. It's a 1 pitch, 0 cost, 3 defense wizard action with the following effect. Deal X arcane damage to target hero, where X is the amount of arcane damage you have dealt to that hero this turn. This is the main reason why I feel like Kano needs that extra go again or extra action points just because of his specialization card. It's a card that, unlike any other of our mythic cards, is just a straight buff or straight damage, as arcane damage doesn't start a chain, and it doesn't start an attack chain, it just deals direct damage and it's up to your opponent how they respond to that without defending. And a great card to use during the turn you use Blazing Aether is Forked Lightning. It is a wizard super card 
which is a one pitch, three cost, three defense wizard action with the following effect. Deal two arcane damage to target hero. And deal two arcane damage to target hero. Effects that modify damage, modify both damage effects of forked lightning. Forked lightning is considered a single source of damage. This coupled with Aether Weave is probably one of the stronger combos that I can see being used with Kano. And if there's a way to gain more action points, chucking a Blazing Aether on top of that at the end is probably going to be one of its better finishes to end out the game. And the last card that I wanted to look at is Tome of Aether Wind. It's a one pitch, zero cost, two defense wizard action super with the following effect, choose two. You may choose the same mode more than once. The next card you play this turn with an effect that deals arcane damage instead deals that much arcane damage plus one or draw a card. The entire community has been going crazy over this card which is why I decided to put it in this video rather than a video on explaining all the cards as just like how you can play potions and you can play Tome of Fiendal off the top of your deck with Kano's ability you can use this card as well which is just a straight draw too but the way I think I see it is kind of like Ancestral Empowerment where it can be a three it can be a zero cost one extra damage draw a card effect or it could be two damage or draw two it's really up to you but there's a lot of applications for this card but because this card doesn't have go again and is just an action card this will end your turn if you just play it i'm still tossing up if i really like this card or if i think it's just not the greatest card for wizard so yes that's kano drakive aether this leader is probably going to bring in a whole swarm of new players. Just how different and how cool looking this hero is, is probably my favorite thing about this hero. So yes, that's it for the video guys. Like and subscribe. Also share around to your new friends that are new to this game. And be sure to check out my other hero spotlights when they come out. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.